Fushan City is just to the west of Panyu, and there we visited Chow Tai Fuk's diamond cutting factory and also their jewelry manufacturing factory. And this was quite interesting because Chow Tai Fuk is one of the major retailers of the world, and they are really vertically integrated. They're cutting diamonds. They're manufacturing jewelry. They're supplying their store, their retail stores, which are all throughout China and Hong Kong. So it was quite interesting to see how their manufacturing operated and what their philosophy was as they supply their stores and create their jewelry for their market. Chow Tai Fuk has a large, modern, highly efficient jewelry manufacturing factory. Final adjustments are being made to the wax pendant while it is attached to this jadeite carving, so they can get the fit exactly right. Wax is being injected into this rubber mold by hand. Care must be taken when removing the wax from the mold not to stretch or to bend it. This automated wax injector pushes the rubber mold up to the injector nozzle, clamps it, vacuums the mold, and fills it with hot wax. It then moves the filled mold to the side. The jeweler lets several filled molds line up, giving the wax inside time to cool before removing the wax. The same wax is injected on a production run to allow the wax injector to be set for a constant air pressure and temperature. The waxes are quality controlled, inspected, and any final adjustments to the wax are made. Each wax has its own sprue, which is attached to a larger central sprue to form what's called a tree. This jeweler is using a hot point to make a small hole in the central sprue and attach each individual piece to it. After the wax tree is burned out of the flask, a vacuum casting machine is used to fill the empty cavity with molten gold. What you're seeing is the gold button at the bottom of the flask. Plunging the flask in the water while still hot breaks apart the investment and allows the gold tree to be removed and further cleaned. Each piece will have its sprue and casting skin removed. A burr is used for hard to reach areas. Each of these pendants will be heated up on this holding compound so that it can be secured and then further manufacturing work can be done on it. Now a burr is used in conjunction with a microscope to clean out areas where the compound is in the way and further prepare the jewelry for manufacturing processes. Settings are polished prior to any stones being set in them. Laser welders allow precise control of heat for modern jewelry manufacturing processes and are found in many high-tech jewelry manufacturing facilities around the world. You can see both the positive and negative components of this die. A sheet of gold is placed between the positive and negative die and the die striking machine stamps out the design. This computer-controlled milling machine is cutting out the positive part of these steel dies while lubricant prevents overheating. <laughs>